is Local 5 News at 10 in HD. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Tom has the night off. Election day was weeks ago, but Wisconsin's presidential votes will now be recounted. Former Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein filed papers with the Wisconsin Election Commission to have every vote recounted by hand. December 13th is the deadline by federal law to complete the recount in order to certify the state's 10 electoral votes. Local 5 Steve Dent joins us live in the studio now to explain the process. Steve? Well, Aaron, this means election officials have a lot of work ahead of them, and the Green Party will pay more than a million dollars for a recount, and that has never happened in a presidential election in Wisconsin. The last statewide recount was for a 2011 Supreme Court race, which had roughly half the votes as this year's presidential election, and that recount took more than a month. Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein, who received just 1% of the vote in Wisconsin, has raised enough money to file for a recount of the election by hand. We have raised over $4 million. We are the party of democratic integrity. Well, in Milwaukee today, George Martin of the Green Party said they want a recount because of the differential between the vote and the polls. But Michael Haas of the Wisconsin Election Commission says that's why we have elections. We look at the ballots, we look at the votes that people have cast, and uh, if there's a difference, uh, most likely it's because the exit polls were incorrect. The Green Party believes electronic voting machines may have been compromised. There's enough peripheral evidence to warrant that our system should be investigated. But the Wisconsin Election Commission says they haven't seen any evidence of that in their routine audit following the election. It would be very difficult and highly unlikely, I think, to see uh, any kind of tampering with voting equipment the way it's secured. The Green Party says this isn't about who got elected president. It's about making sure our vote gets counted properly. We're doing this for the benefit of the American public so that we can trust that our votes are counted. But it also means election officials may have to work nights and weekends to get this done by the December 13th deadline. Now the Stein campaign says they expect to file recounts next week in both Michigan and Pennsylvania. And here in Wisconsin, the Election Commission expects to have a news conference on Monday. Trump beat Clinton by 23,000 votes. Steve Dent, Local 5 News.